Ooh, I like this. Sorry, I like Stretch glass. <sighs> or is that just how it's made? I wonder if this glows, Michael. Probably. Um, we have the yellow one of this. 18, 28 for the green. Oh, look at the spring blossom. 12. Those are glass grapes. Oh, what about that uranium one? Oh, that's a big one, 15. Hmm. I would do 10 on it. Oh my gosh, all these. Ah, look at all of them. Wow, that one looks like it really close. All right, I gotta get my and black light out. Yeah, the Vaseline. Look at, look, look. I think the Vaseline is worth a little more. Look at the... Ah. Okay, I might have to get a price on these. Five for the uranium depression glass. The dog teapot. Ooh, look at this one. All the Shawnee pottery. 15. 15. 15. Let me know if I can help anybody. Look at the ceramic Christmas tree. Oh, that's so cool. Um, we really don't see um, these too much. I wonder how much that is. I want to. I want to mine one for myself. Actually, you're gonna take your temperature. Use the red thermometer. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what the red thermometer is. That's only ten dollars. Hmm. We have that at home. It's just clear our glass. Oh, look at that base. Twelve. Just for a clear one. That I gotta look at without knocking anything over. I think I already see some chips on the bottom. No. Oh, that's a little bit newer. That could be Royal Hager. Don't quote me, I'm not positive. Positive. These two are cute. Eighteen for the pair. Made in Japan. Little um Holland girl girl and boy. Um that look oh my gosh, look at so cute. Ten dollars. Both self original. How much is that? Ten, but we're gonna try it to go a little bit lower. Oh, it's supposed to have a light. It's a lamp. <gasps> okay, so maybe we could just buy one. We could just buy a light. That looks like a Fenton um, mug. That's Sooner glass. The value on that, for some reason, just declined. Because we have two at home, actually. Oh, that's right. Ooh, look at it. These salt and pepper shakers. That's Westmoreland. Wait. Okay, I think I see the W. How much are those? 15. For the set. Viking. Wait, is that Viking? No, that's not. Ooh, look at Michael. Vaseline. I think. It's a Vaseline glass. Let me get my black light. No, that doesn't glow. So it's just a yellow satin dish. And tin. Um, I forget the pattern, but it looks like an octopus. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at those. I think I see a Blanco over here. <gasps> Ooh. Is it? I've never seen it with a square before, though. 
I think it is Blanco. And we're going into the beef. <laughs> the beef. Oh, it's one more. Pots and pans. That almost looks like the poor um, paint art. The poor paint art. Yes, the poor paint art. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's different. I feel like I've found something like that before. Right? I don't know. I don't remember. Really, look at this ash tree. Ooh, look at that. It's a Serono Anchor Hockey and um, Amber Ash Tree. There's the bowl. All of the pottery that's Fiesta. For $10. Oh, it's chipped. Darn it. Majolica. Ooh. 20. A lot of damage on that though. Pineapple. Yeah, that's way too damaged. Oh, I like this little planter, <laughs> Shawnee. We have a few of, the, of those. Look at that. How much is it? 25. It's for the best. Oh yeah. It's a basket. <laughs> hmm, it, has a, like it feels like a wool. Look at all of the glass. I like this orange. I'm not sure who made it though. This blue satin. Sasha Bradstroff? No, that's not. There's a rainbow glass. <laughs> Maybe there's a good price on anything you're interested in. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Let me see this dish. It has cherries on it. Some antique amethyst. You can see the purple when you put it up to the light. Most of the time the paint is already worn off. It's kind of nice. Let's see the bottom. Oh. Some white opalescent glass. Bristle glass. More antique. Oh, I wish I could. Some Ooh, uh, in the ruffle. Want to get a price on that? This one. We have, oh, look at this. Ooh, that's cool. I wonder if that glows. I'm gonna have to check it. This one I'm pretty sure it does. I don't see any damage on that. I wonder if this is Hazel Atlas. See, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Let's see. No. Oh, vase. I'm surprised that doesn't glow. Ooh, look at that. I like this one. This one has damage on it, though. Darn it. Look at these dogs. Collectible. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah. This one too. Handcrafted collectibles, Brazil. That one. I keep forgetting my coffee. <laughs> That's an antique. Just an amber um, confetti. Any choices? I don't want. I don't know which one I want. It has like a Majolica look to it. Um, this one is a little bit different. It's heavy, so I'm thinking this might be Blinko. I think I might get this one. Or no, we have. I mean, is it? I was thinking maybe Blinko. 
only because of the weight. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Stretch glass. <sighs> or is that just how it's made? I think that's just yeah, how it's made. It's a manufacturer. I, um, I saw that too. I thought it was a chip and I went over it. And... Yeah. Um, how much do you want for that? I'll do 10 on that one. 10? With the uh, flowers. Mm. Ansley. They all look like they would be Ansley. Look at the swan. Has a chip. That one does. Wild. Look through them. Yeah. A smaller one does not. Mm. Oh, that's a Crown Royal made in England. Hmm. Of course, he's looking at the hats. <laughs> it has to be a feather hat. That's awesome. Oh my god, I want to try it on. Look at this. You want to try it on? I'm good, I'm good. People I know, we'll get yelled at. What about the hens on the nest? Tinker toys. Awesome. Oh, that has a ceramic, ceramic handle. Um, what is this? Liquid. One quart. Baby top. Brickfield. <laughs> it looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Uh, what? Pick it up and see who made it. My hands are kind of full. <laughs> I'm to the small ones, I'm afraid. Probably Japan. Yeah. No. St Stafford. That's kind of cool. I never seen it before. Right. We did it again. I didn't film it because um. There's music playing, but we got a Lucite bag. She gave this for $5. Um, this part doesn't close all the way, but look how awesome. It has like the metal weaving yeah. around it. This is uh, made in Italy. I believe it's called a Posey. No um, chips or cracks on that. A cute little kitty for the cat sale. Uh, Noritake, I mean, uh, made in... I mean, a uh, Nippon trinket, a beautiful blue Evan, a made in Mexico Tanala vase. Oh, I just noticed it says that on there. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. But I'll do that in the pottery sale. All right, I decided to stop at Salvation Army. Okay, so now the treasure craft is half off, so I will pick that up. Yes. I'm surprised it's still here. Slowly. Oh, what my gosh. I really wasn't expecting this to be here. I'm so happy now. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if this is Dorothy Thorpe. I don't know, it's a thick band. I actually don't think it is. Oh, there's a mark. Um, Corning brand. Heat proof. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at these. Pottery for $1.49. All right, one thing at a time. I'm always reaching over to the next aisle. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, the RWP for $6.99. This looks like it might be German. It is not. Oh, look at these. Are they supposed to be stackable? Yeah. Um, of course, there's a chip made in Japan for $3.99. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Um, here's a Pandora for $2.99. I'm not sure how much. Um, Pandora, I don't think, really is popular anymore. I remember when everybody was going nuts over the charms. Maybe this is Lefton? I like the shell. <laughs> All 
right, this is where all of the pottery is. Oh, that's glass. All right, I gotta test that out. All right, let's see if it glows. I'm checking everything, see if it glows. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That would have been awesome, though. What about this? Is this a bread box? At home. Hmm. I'm not sure. I was just checking to see if it was um Polish pottery. It has a chip on it, a hobbyist bowl. Oh, here's a flower frog. Ellen for $2.49. Ooh, I'll get that. Maybe I'll do it in tonight's sale. This is pretty. Signature. Has like a, text, a texture on the outside. See if that's on Taylor, Smith Taylor, it is not, Japan. All right, let's just go down the aisles. Let me see what that is. That's on the Asian pottery. Oh, I like that. Look at the, um, the silver and the blue. I wonder what that's probably not too much value in it though. It's $2.99. Another owl mug. <laughs> yeah, I already have the red one. Ooh. Here's some dollhouse teapot. Even has a lid with um, cups and saucers. For $4.99. I'll do that. Almost looks like it would be Italian. Carefully put it there. Ooh, France. Hmm. For six ninety nine. All right, I think I have to put this on. Especially since it says made in France, and I have to look it over more for any kind of damage because this. Looks like something that would chip very, very easily. So I gotta make sure to look over that. All right, we have all of those. Oh, they added more shelves. Ooh, hold on, I see something. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Oh my, oh no. It has to be chipped. <laughs> Do I still get it for myself? How much is it? $7.99. I think that would look awesome in my room. Alright, I'm gonna see if they could lower the price on that. That looks like a new um, chip, too. I didn't look on this side yet. Those are glass. Kind of reminds me of the ocean. <laughs> little shot glass for um a dollar hey that's the other one that goes with the set let me see if these are tanala it is not it's Mikasa though edible arrangements oh paperweight um, so someone put, um, paper on the bottom to make it show through. It's not a bad price. Not for me, though. Here's Michael's teacup and saucer. <laughs> oh, Homer Laughlin. I like the red and gold. Threshold. Here's a totally 80s Southwestern vase. <laughs> it reminds me of the Golden Girls, the pink 
80s pink color. Ooh, I like the feathers. I wonder if that's real. That's probably real turquoise. It's ten dollars. Make sure I'm not missing anything. It's Noritake. Now this looks like it has some value or quality. I mean. And there's the Waterford. Oh, oh my gosh, for $3.99. I'm not sure what pattern that is. Can you see the Waterford? Right there. Oh my gosh, that is totally going in. I keep finding Waterford ever everywhere. Well, this definitely woke me up. I feel like someone just slapped me in the fanny. <laughs> oh boy. All right, now I am on the hunt for more. I want more. <laughs> All right, I was going to look at that, but I had to look at that too. Nope, too light. Um, what about this? All right, this shell shape um, crystal. Um, that looks like it'd be Mikasa. For $6.99. I'm not sure who made these. Um, actually, yeah, is that the Candlewick? I always thought Candlewick was more spread out. No, that's Candlewick. And um, there's the Boopy, Boopy, which is closer together. RCR. Alright, over there I see a Capitamonte. Possibly. I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, um, I don't know about the colors though. None of the petals are broken. Yep, yep. There's always one or two petals. Oh my gosh, Capitamonte. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the, um, this dark brown color. Look at these. $1.79 for mid-century modern glasses. Okay, I think I have to get that. That one has a lot of wear on it, so I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna get that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Alright, I'm putting this back. I don't think I'm gonna bother with it. All right, I don't think I want the wine glasses, though. I'll leave those for somebody else. They're $2 each, so that'll be $10 for the set. Yeah, they're not worth as much as the uh, on the rock glasses. Let me see about these. Oh, that's Shannon Crystal. Uh, when I first started reselling, um, I bought a Shannon Crystal vase, a large vase. I never sold it. <laughs> Ooh, some fused glass. Oh my gosh, it's probably Sidon Stricker or Peggy Carr for $2.49. And I love the colors on that. Poppy. All right, let me see if I can find the signature. All right, I found it. It only took me a minute, which I'm surprised. I'm not sure what that says, though. I see 1986. I don't know. Plenty in anyways for $2.49. Here's some inkwells. I'm pretty sure that's inkwell. Um, BKH... BKH Co. Um, $2.99 each. We have um, a larger version of that at home. That we have to list, actually. My grandma had a set of these. Let me see if that is George Briard. I don't think so. This one is different. And she had a couch with this pattern on it. I think this one. <laughs> that looks like it might be a restaurant wear. Ooh, it is Syracuse China. Um, it has a S for 
I think I'm gonna leave it. There's a lot of gold loss around the rim. I will just hear a horse. It's plastic. Plastic and then that is resin. I've never seen um, an ashtray version. I may already see a little bit of damage on the beak. What's she doing? Um, rolling a ball of yarn, maybe. Five ninety nine. Might wait for that to go on sale. Look at his face. <laughs> I mean, that's only three ninety nine. I'm gonna get this one and try it out. I might as well. I think that's cute enough for it will sell kind of fast, I hope. This angel. It looks vintage. It's in a birdhouse. I wonder how vintage that is though. That looks like it'd be from the 80s. Um, I don't know. When I find vintage Christmas, I want it to be from the like 50s, 60s, 70s. Here's a embroidered um, crocheted tablecloth. I'm pretty sure that's a tablecloth. Yeah, it has to be. I mean, you could probably use it as a bedspread too. How much is that? Uh, $5.99. Let me spread it out. Oh, yeah, that's pretty and it's a large too. I'm definitely getting that. Um, our last one sold. We sold it to one of our viewers, and this one is even better. <laughs> okay, well, I think that is it at Salvation Army. I'm going to go show you some footage that I got at the ReStore. Um, this is everything we're getting at Salvation Army. All right, so my total spend at Salvation Army was $33. Um, tell you the truth, I can't remember how much I spent at um, the ReStore. <laughs> It's over $20. Um, I think I found some amazing items today. Waterford, some uranium glass, a lot of vintage. I can't wait to go home and list it. I actually have to go home and do the live pottery sale on Whatnot. So make sure you're following us on Whatnot. We have a link in the description. And I will see everybody next time. Bye.